Danish pastry or just Danish is a multi-layered, laminated sweet pastry in the Viennoiserie tradition. It was invented in Denmark and has since become a Danish speciality. Like other Viennoiserie pastries, such as croissants, Danish pastry is a variant of puff pastry made of laminated yeast leavened doughs, creating a layered texture. Danish pastries were exported by immigrants to the United States, and are today popular around the world. Composition Danish pastry is made of yeast leavened dough of wheat flour, milk, eggs, sugar and large amounts of butter or margarine. A yeast dough is rolled out thinly, covered with thin slices of butter between the layers of dough, and then the dough is folded and rolled several times, creating 27 layers. If necessary, the dough is chilled between foldings to ease handling. The process of rolling, buttering, folding and chilling is repeated multiple times to create a multi-layered dough that becomes airy and crispy on the outside, but also rich and buttery. Butter is the traditional fat used in Danish pastry, but in industrial production, less expensive fats are often used, such as hydrogenated sunflower oil. Terminology In Danish, Norwegian and Swedish, the term for Danish pastry is Wienerbrød d. Wienerbrød paragraph d. Viennese bread. The same etymology is also the origin of the Finnish Viennieri. Danish pastry is referred to as factorers in some Spanish-speaking countries. In Vienna, the Danish pastry, referring to Denmark and Copenhagen, is called Copenhagener plunder or Da Currency Nische plunder. History the origin of the Danish pastry is often ascribed to a strike amongst bakery workers in Denmark in 1850. The strike forced bakery owners to hire workers from abroad, among them several Austrian bakers, who brought along new baking traditions and pastry recipes. The Austrian pastry of Plunderjeba currency CK soon became popular in Denmark and after the labor disputes ended, Danish bakers adopted the Austrian recipes adjusting them to their own liking and traditions by increasing the amount of egg and fat for example. This development resulted in what is now known as the Danish pastry. One of the baking techniques and traditions that the Austrian bakers brought with them was the Viennese lamination technique. Due to such novelties the Danes called the pastry technique Wiener and, as mentioned above, that name is still in use in Northern Europe today. At that time, Almost all baked goods in Denmark were given exotic names. Equals Danish pastry in Denmark equals. Danish pastries as consumed in Denmark have different shapes and names. Some are topped with chocolate, pearl sugar, glerker copyright icing and or slivered nuts and they may be stuffed with a variety of ingredients such as jam or preserves, remonts, marzipan and or custard. Shapes are numerous, including circles with filling in the middle figure eights, spirals, and the pretzel-like ringles. Varieties, in Sweden, Danish pastry is typically made in the Spendauer style, often with vanilla custard. In the UK, various ingredients such as jam, custard, apricots, cherries, raisins, flaked almonds, pecans or caramelized toffee are placed on or within sections of divided dough, which is then baked. Cardamom is often added to increase the aromatic sense of sweetness. In the U.S., Danishes are typically given a topping of fruit or sweet baker's cheese prior to baking. Danishes with nuts on them are also popular there and in Sweden, where chocolate spritzing and powdered sugar are also often added. In Argentina, they are usually filled with dulce de lec or dulce de membrillo. Danish pastry in different countries equals Danish pastry in the United States equals Danish pastry was brought to the United States by Danish immigrants. Laurit C. Kerteng of Lazar popularized Danish pastry in the U.S. around 1915 a year 1920. According to Kerteng, he made Danish pastry for the wedding of President Woodrow Wilson in December 1915. Kleteng toured the world to promote his product and was featured in such 1920s periodicals as The National Baker, The Baker's Helper, and The Baker's Weekly. Kleteng briefly has his own Danish culinary studio at 146 Fifth Avenue in New York City. Hermann Gertner owned a chain of New York City restaurants and had brought Kleteng to New York to sell Danish pastry. Gertner's obituary appeared in the January 23, 1962 New York Times.
At one point during his career Mr. Gertner befriended a Danish baker who convinced him that Danish pastry might be well received in New York. Mr. Gertner began serving the pastry in his restaurant and it immediately was a success. Cartoon Controversy During the Jlans Posen Mohammed cartoons controversy in 2006, several religious Iranian groups advocated changing the name of the highly popular Danish, given its name association with the source country of the offending cartoons. The Iranian Confectioners Union designated Roses of the Prophet Muhammad as the new name for Danishes made in the country as of February 15, 2006, although compliance with the proposed name in bakeries was mixed and short-lived. Related to this, many protesters in several Muslim countries, angered by the pictures of Muhammad, boycotted Danish goods. Roses of Muhammad is a traditional Persian synonym for a variety of pink rose flowering shrub. See also Notes References Corvain, Stanley and Young, Linda S. Technology of Bread Making Springer Science and Business Media Gislin, Wayne Professional Baking John Wiley and Sons, Hoboken, N.J. ISBN 9781118083773 741 External links Danish pastry from food historian Barry Popik, Danish pastry, base recipe, Danish pastry Bark Ballaford, a non-commercial educational cooking website from Denmark. BBC Danish Pastries, Danish.